Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. This is To Burn in Memory. I know nothing about this game other than that I saw it on Steam. It was free and I thought you guys might like to see what it's all about. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's, uh, before we, you know, get started, let's just uh, go ahead and have several minutes of silence and I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and crop it out. And we're back, yeah, with our several, several minutes of silence, um, getting ready for this burn in, uh, to burn in memory. To burn in memory, an ahistorical and atemporal in interactive fiction work for IF Comp 2015, explore a city that never existed and uncover its secret history through the memories of a woman that lived in its darkest moments. Moments. Mild content warning for violence and war. Got it. Let's do it. Let's get in. Oh, we've got some piano. I like that. Sounds good. Breathtaking, isn't it? Says Salandre, gesturing out over the vista. Here is the city as I saw it, empty, painted in rust and gold, below tormented skies writhing in cruel fire. She continues in a tone somewhere between opera and pantomime. I think I captured that, actually. Symbolic, a brief expression of sadness. Then she continues, or perhaps... The romanticist in me cannot stomach to tell this tale without an image such as this. <gasps> I gave my life to this place, she says with a sigh, and now I offer it to you. My tale is seen through many eyes, but your judgment must be yours alone. I shall play the part of Cicerone after my fashion, but not in a manner you expect, for I will be beside you only in memory. This should suffice to guide you through this tale to its end, and my absence will grant you clear eyes to draw of this the conclusions you will. Find me, then, in the orchards. And here we go. So, Balcony Institute below tower. A balcony facing westward to the fore of a rooftop terrace overlooking the city. Twin streams fed by the by long aqueducts flanked the tower in an embrace, then split again in symmetry to fall in two over the facades of the structure. Behind paved pathways connected the cardinal points of the circular structure, and at their intersection rose a delicate white tower, starkly contrasting the silhouetted black spires of the horizon. Arcades accentuated the circumference of the terrace as the sun fell on the water like a scar. Cool. Cool. I like it. I don't know what all these buttons do yet, but uh, we'll follow the pathways. I kind of... I guess I would kind of like some... Oh, what happened there? Oh, I can do stuff. Um, oh, what happened? What did I do? What is this? To burn a memory... Oh, I see. Click the scroll in the left to return to the game. Okay, cool. Okay, so I can descend the stairs to the... Oh, okay. The wind whistled through the arcades, a low and mournful hum as the opposite side of the tower. I could fully behold the western vista, a river stretching out to the horizon, the opposing shore, veiled and blurred in fog, receiving long shadows cast from the tower. Radiating outward from the tower were the roaring falls, glittering in the half-light, they split the circular piazza into two tiers, that lower tier accessible from here by twin descending staircases that curved inward to embrace a small landing. Though blackened windows teased entrance, the tower itself allowed no means of ingress at this level. Let's descend, yeah. The stairways flattened out and continued, splitting the flow in two to descend towards the outer arcades in the Red River. The entrance to the White Tower was here, a dark and dark in the shadow of the waning sun, a black monolith of a door, seamless and with no visible means of admission. Right, yeah, so it's a, it's a choose-your-own-adventure book. I mean, that's what's going on, right? Choose-your-own-adventure. I don't know what any of these do. I kind of want to click on them. Let's examine the door first, though. On closer inspection, a tight seam outlined a smaller inset door, featureless except for an ornate handle intricately carved with, the solar, with a solar motif. It was unlocked. Ooh, I can enter the tower. Right, so there's all this stuff going on. What, what happens if I click over here? Uh, nothing. Okay, cool. The atrium took up the entirety of the first two floors of the tower. Hugging stately wooden paneling, a spiral staircase swept upwards, 
Heavy, dust-filled beams of light shone through long vertical windows to fall on a sea of charred remains, the curled cinders of countless books. That's very good alliteration. Two doors opposed each other, the black painted monolith of a door leading back to the terrace, and a smaller set built of wood and brass inlay opened the remains of a once great hallway. So I can, like, roll out, or I can sift. Let's sift. I waded through the ash, hand-sifting charred fragments of history, names, dates, times, and place, now meaningless in their separation. Let's search further. I tore through page after page, drunk on the prospect of discovery, and there it was, a single page, unburnt, alone in, the in a ray of the setting sun. Hold the page to the light. Okay. A rose, red. It held in perfect detail an illustration of a seven-petaled rose. I'll take the page, sure. Right, so... Um, let's enter the hallway. Through the shattered remains of, a glass, of glass panels held aloft by ribs of steel, the waning sun filled the atrium with diffused light in tones of blood and gold, a fitting welcome to the devastation below. Tattered and smoke-blackened banners flew from the ironwork buttresses, Countenance cast in vivid red under those stains wrought of battle, surviving with all that stoic dignity of a final stand. Charred furniture stood as makeshift barricades under layers of cinder and catching the light, thick shards of broken glass. Right. So the game is, um, the game is about, yeah, reading, I guess. It's a, it's very much a choose your own adventure game, which is cool. Um, nothing wrong with that. I like it. Um, I wish there was sound. I wish there was more sound. Um, because, as it is, it's silent. And if I'm going to play a game, I want to play a game with sound, for sure. Um, but we'll, go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and do a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I might call it after a little bit. Because without sound, I'm sure that you guys are probably getting tired of just listening to my voice. So... The Institute's entrance gate was a masterwork in brass, elegance and strength in equal temperance, gold hue belying the fortitude of a stronger metal, shut tight. Okay, so I can't go there. All right, we're going to go back to the tower, I guess, and we'll go up the stairs. The library was cylindrical in structure, occupying in full the 7th to 11th floors of the tower. That's four floors. Uh, the first of these constituted a reading area and balcony, followed by three floors of mezzanine. The spiral staircase landed on, landed on the reading level below the filigree flow of iron buttresses and girder that held up the first mezzanine. All this grand structure force forsook its purpose, however, as every shelf now held little more than a thin film of dust, their intended contents lying as ashes far below. Centered in emphasis by the form of the library lay a statue with the features of a three-headed raven, gazing with mournful eyes out over the river, long shadows cast before its stare. Yeah, let's step out onto the balcony. The tower cast its shadow over the river to touch the fog-shrouded shore. A small device sits precariously on the stone balustrade. Examine it. An elegant clockwork device the size of a pocket watch, closed with a latch relief depicting a snake devouring its own tail. Open? Yeah, open. Um, centered within the inner face of the device, a cold brass sigil sat above a complex clockwork mechanism. Seemingly activated by the opening of the device, a needle began to protrude from below the sigil in a short and abrupt war of clockwork. Place finger on protrusion. Oh, cool, I can get poisoned. Right. It, it's hunger sated. The sigil faded in luminance to that low flame's dull glow. Yeah, so we got it. We got it now. We've got a thing. Nice. We'll send. Um, yep, yep, and then I guess we go back down, and then see if we can, uh, open the gate, activate memory, oh, what is that? I stand in the livery of the nation of my birth, wearing my true face before those I have betrayed, to watch with clear eyes the end I have wrought for them. The order has been sent out, and now I wait for the thunder that will signal the last lines of this final act. A moment of silence below the tower, and the command to fire rings out across the empty square, to be drowned in turn under the 33rd's deafening barrage, and on impact, the screams of metal and men alike. But this I can hear not. For me, that dread song still played unmatched in volume and held in rapt attention by my helpless mind. Firm and true stands the watch. Die walked Amrine. 
Cool. Marcel. Um, uh, okay. So what do I, what do I do here? Um, oh, I can drag that around, I guess. That's weird. Um, yep. Return. Uh, can I return? Nope. Well, oh, continue. I see. What remained of the gate had forgotten its elegance that moment. Its strength fell before the sheer force of the German artillery barrage. Oh, cool. So I went into like a, an old memory and now I can go through the gate. Filigree metalwork twisted and made harsh to the call. Now the mind of corpse ribcage exposed. Nice. Calling to mind the triumphal arches of antiquity, that great arch of the Institute's entrance dominated its facade to a palatian effect, further strengthened in emphasis by the twin falls aside it. In darkness at this hour, an underground reservoir received the falls to roar in eerie reverberation. Continuing the path downward, grand steps set in massive slabs began their long descent toward the heart of the plaza, interrupted rhythmically by landings with small balconies. So that is a cool... Uh, effect, um, a cool gameplay mechanic, I guess. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is cool. I like it. Uh, I w want there to be music. I want them to update it and to put music in. Because listening to silence while I'm reading this thing is off-putting for me. I like music. I like games to have music. So, if you don't mind, go ahead and give me some music, yo. Give me that music. Um, anyways, so that's, that is, um, to burn in memory and yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, make sure you let me know, uh, what you think in the comments, like subscribe, all that stuff. And, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Class dismissed.